Baking a sourdough bread is not the easiest in the world, but baking sourdough bread in the bush, it's even a little bit more difficult. But I'll show you how it's been done. The main thing is that you bring your mother dough. That means the starter. All you need is 450 grams of bread flour. I use a Gideon. If you don't get it, cake flour is fine as well. Just put it in a bowl. I brought actually a little scale with me to measure it exactly, but you can measure it at home and bring pack it and uh, then it's fine, I think. Then you add 50 grams of rye flour. This is important because it gives the dough a little bit of stability. And then you add your sourdough. This is a 100 gram of sourdough. That's about it. That's a starter. Pour it inside. And then you add about 10 grams of salt. Last step, 350 milliliter of water. And then you have to beat the dough vigorously. Do that for 10 minutes or so until the dough comes together very nicely. Then you cover it and wait for about half an hour. Then you stretch and fold it. So all you have to do now is wait and maybe you have a nice glass of Dimmelstahl wine and say cheers, my dears. After half an hour, lift the dough up and let it slowly slide over your hands. It feels a little bit like you lift up a little cat. Lift, fold and put down. Please repeat six or seven times. By stretching and folding, you put some air in the door, which in the end gives a stability to the bread. Please repeat three more times every half an hour. Put the lid on and let it rise again until this afternoon. So it takes time about six to seven hours in the heat when you are out in the But bush. if you cannot bake it tonight, you can uh, easily put it on the fridge if you have one in your vehicle and you can bake it in 24 hours. I show you how. I do it in the poiki pot. Look how nicely the dough is risen and that's going to be a perfect bread. Now quickly knead the dough for the last time. Now preheat your poiki pot or your Dutch oven with 10 charcoal pieces from the bottom and 7 charcoal pieces from the top. Carefully lift the lid, put a little flour in the pot and then slowly let the dough slide in and close the lid quickly. Put back the hot charcoal. Bake your bread for 20 minutes and have a look once in a while that your bread is not burning. After 40 or 50 minutes, a perfectly sourdough bread is waiting for you. We enjoy ours with some Parma ham and some Emmental cheese. And you? I hope that your bush bread will be as delicious as mine. But if not, don't give up. Try it again and again. Greetings from the Orange River and good luck to you. Bye.